हेलो असम व्यूअर्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो गाइस विल बी डूइंग अ इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टुडे फॉर लूप्स पैटर्न्स ऑलरेडी इफ यू हैव सीन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव आई हैव कवर्ड फॉर लूप राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल पैटर्न एंड इनवर्स राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल पैटर्न सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ पिरामिड एंड अ इन रिवर्स पिरामिड सो दीस आर द काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न्स व्हिच व्हिच वी can reproduce to for loop right so if you know how to how the syntax how the logic of the program is you can use the same logic or a similar kind of logic in any of the programming language uh, so that you can crack the interview very easily so this will be one of the important topics for the interview sessions and this will be one of the good tutorials so that people can see easily and people can enjoy the today's concept so without further ado let me just open the for loop pyramids and let me just open this program so let let us set an agenda today right so let us set an agenda what is the agenda today only agenda is how to how to create star pyramid and a reverse star reverse star pyramid using vb script i write vb script here because we are doing in vb script but you guys can easily reproduce a similar kind of thing with any programming language right so let me just save this save as so i'll just write agenda agenda save it let's go to the programming part how the pyramid looks like let me open this let me open the for loop for me right so what kind of logic we need so pyramid would look like this right so if not eight star i'll put an enter a star here and a star here Sorry, I'm getting eight. Um, again, space, 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 space. Star here. Star. Star here. And the star here. This will come a little like this, and uh, this can go. Yeah. Yeah, somewhat like this, right? this is a three row pyramid so if i have given the value as three so it will create like this somewhat the pattern will be looking like this for you guys so if you can see properly as i'll just maximize it for you to see it properly so pyramid will look like this we can extend we can extend the pyramid to as many levels as we want we just have to change a little bit of code in the program so let us uh, without further ado let us see the program how the file looks like how the file looks so let us open using for loop let us understand the program so we need three loops here so one loop will run, run to the entire row second loop will be using the spaces third loop will be printing the stars so um i'll take an example here i'll i'll take five rows as an example so five level pyramid so that we can create so i'll write for k equal to 1 2 5 so i'm using the k loop as my exterior loop i'll write next so that uh, it it can pass to each and everything and i'll write a second loop here so that uh, it will it will go through the program properly so the second loop will look something like this so we have to uh, print now spaces right so spaces should be there star should be there and it should run through five levels so just let me write j equal to so i want spaces for each and every value of k so let me write one to k i'll explain you the logic so let me store the spaces in temporary variable i always write temp because <laughs> uh this temporary variable will be will be used to concatenate the values 
and I want spaces for each and every value of k and I'll uh, close this loop here. We are using nested for loop in this concept. So if you have seen my other videos, you'll understand how the for loop syntax is and all. So if you don't understand the syntax, please go through the videos. But I will uh, I will link the playlist of the loops loop video so that uh, you can understand the syntax properly. If you don't. And we need another loop so that uh, to print uh, stars. So in the first level, I need only one star, and the second level, two stars, third level, three stars, and so on. So what can I, what logic can I apply? So it should be from the first five. So loop should be reversed, right? To k and step minus one. So it will again, we'll store a temporary variable to store the stars temporary variable and we'll concatenate with the star value i'll just write it down next so these are the three loops which i'm talking about first loop will print the rows second loop will uh, do the spaces third loop will print the star value and we need we need a enter statement so we whenever print stars the first loop whenever this loop finishes whenever the k is one when k of k value is two we have to have stars in the second row so for that let me use one more thing so temp equal to temp ampersand sorry temp equal to temp ampersand vblf so now since the pro that's all program will be finished here these will be for the rows these will be for the spaces so this will be for printing the stars this will be going to the next line always whenever the k value is incremented so now we can print stars let me write uh, message box message box is useful for print in uh, script. let me just save this save as Mm, let me write this pyramid pattern pyramid pattern dot vbs save this close it i'll double click the pyramid pattern so it comes here like this so i'll expand it and i'll show you so it looks something like this right so this is now a reverse pyramid pattern so let us see a positive scenario positive pyramid like how it comes in the first level second level third level fourth level fifth level so let me just go back to my normal structure yeah fine let me just close this okay so now I'll let us have another program so that I can, I can just copy this code right for me to understand it properly copy this control c control v close it and uh, let's paste the same code here so now what i have to do to achieve the straight pyramid here it was producing the reverse pyramid previously so here we'll uh, just exchange the code a little bit just modify the code a little bit so i'll just remove this this will be there it will it should run for five rows since we are um, doing the five row pyramid five level pyramid or you can call it as this will be for the next line for each and every star to be printed for each and every row so now the logic looks like this so so in the previous program we have used spaces in the beginning so now we'll use now we'll use stars sorry previous program we used stars in the beginning now we'll be using spaces in the first right step okay i'll just give a space here step minus one
so guys don't worry about the code if i'm going even if i'm going fast let me put uh, just put in the comments so the next videos i'll be going slow and i'll be explaining each and every step um and don't worry about the code code will be there in the description so that you can you guys can play around it you guys can add rows i'm just hard coding the value you guys can give this as a, uh, this um you guys can give this as a dynamic value through the input box uh, okay anyway uh, here now we'll be printing temp we'll be printing uh, not printing we'll be concatenating spaces a similar second for loop will be involved for i use j k and i always so these are, these are the like kind of variables we use you can give a proper variable name if you want so just variables so commonly used variables anyway and step minus step one is uh, by default so no need to write step one here if you want you can write it as like this or you can leave it that is the default value so i have created three loops i'll explain you the code just a second temp equal to temp ampersand here i'll be printing the stars so now our exact pyramid is ready guys let me just save this i'll explain the code in a minute so proper pyramid dot vbs hmm. What we're doing here, so we are starting with the spaces, so that from phi to k, whatever the value of the k will be, we are decrementing the i value, and we are printing the spaces. We are concatenating spaces them so that spaces will be printed. So i value will be k in the one in the beginning, so only one star will be printed here. So when the k value increases here, k value increases so that this loop will become small, this loop will become large. So as soon as the k reaches the higher value this loop will become small this loop will become large so that stars will be printed more than spaces the logic was reversed in the other program right so you guys who are able to see the logic so it is understandable now let me just close this let me just uh, okay just let, let me rename this uh, not a pyramid pattern we can write uh, reverse pyramid so we thought it was a pyramid and a little bit of code change reverse pyramid came out so anyway um, let me write uh, double click the proper pyramid as you can see in the figure here it's a pyramid for you to see i'll just expand it let's zoom it out so it's now visible so we have a proper pyramid here let me just unzoom it fine so guys these are two examples of stars we have seen the pyramid and the reverse pyramid similar kind of examples we can uh, see for numbers except the stars we have to if you want one just uh, print the value one there if you want one two two three three four 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 five 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 only thing we have to change a little bit of code so if you want that if you want those examples also please let me know in the comments so i so that i can uh, put it across so till then guys uh, if you enjoy the video if you like the video if you're new new viewer please subscribe to the channel if you like the video plus uh, please uh, click on the like button until then guys have a great day bye bye take care